Today, we're gonna to go over what a digital tachometer is and why it is important for the operation of your pressure washer. A digital tachometer, like the one in my hand, is used to measure the speed of the engine in RPMs. This is very important for the operation of your unit as the motor that your pump is mounted to needs to run between 3,400 and 3,600 RPMs in order to effectively and efficiently operate the pump so that you're getting the most output as you can out of it. Failure to operate your unit at the correct speed can also cause potential failure. Whether the engine is running at too low of speed or too high of speed, the consequences can be catastrophic. Operating at too low of speeds for the long period of time can cause the engine to overheat and internal damage can occur onto the engine. This unit is an air-cooled engine, which means that it needs to get maximum airflow generated off the fan of the flywheel, hitting the cooling fins to properly cool it. And that's usually around that 34 to 3600 RPM range. When the pump is mounted and a load is produced, that extra load on the engine can also cause premature failure as it bogs the motor down and the engine runs inefficiently. The unit is operating at too high of speed. The internal components of the motor and the pump can be overworked, which in turn, again, could cause issues with either your motor or your pump. With the tachometer we are using today, we wanna to make sure to wrap the sensor wire around the boot of the spark plug multiple times. That way we're ensured to have proper contact for the most accurate reading for the engine RPMs. Once we know we have enough secure wraps around the spark plug, now it's time to go into operating and testing the unit properly. As a follow-up to our idle down cable installation, we'll be showing the proper steps to adjust the engine to the correct operating RPMs on this Honda Power DeWalt. This cable is mounted to the pump down here and runs up to the governor arm, allowing the engine to idle when there is no load present and when a load is generated, be able to increase the speed to the proper operating RPMs. We have recently changed this cable as we did in the last video, and we're gonna see how accurate our line test is and see if it's an engine that we're gonna to have to adjust or if we're sitting in the wheelhouse uh, where this operating unit needs to be. As a default in the idle position, this machine needs to run between 2600 to 2800 RPMs. And this is measured with the engine running, water on, high pressure hose and wand hooked up and pump and bypass mode. We'll first wanna check what our idle speed is in this condition. So we're gonna get our unit started on. As you could see while we were running our unit, it was sitting at about 3,200 RPMs, a little bit above that, which is too high for the idle point on this unit. So what we're gonna wanna do is take a 10 millimeter wrench, socket, screwdriver, and pop these loose, just enough so that we can have access to the cable and freely move it around as need be. And then we're gonna start the motor back up and then adjust it, hopefully between that 2,600 to 2,800 RPM range. Turn your engine on, cycle some cold water through, Pull it over. Once you get the RPM range that you need to be in, uh, tighten down those 10 millimeter bolts on the bracket so it holds the sheathing so that you can't move it by hand anymore. And the next step is checking the, uh, the operational RPM of the motor, which will be done in the exact same manner, except now we'll introduce a load. So we'll be hitting the, the trigger on the gun to simulate that load so we get some pressure going through the unit. That should bring our RPM range up between 3,400 and 3,600 RPMs as our if our adjustments are correct. So let's get this unit started.
as you can see, our engine was set at the perfect uh, RPM range at 3,600. And as we let the trigger go, it dropped down into idle in that 26 to 2700 RPM range. Using a digital tachometer is the most accurate way to set your engine's RPMs. If this video interested you, be sure to subscribe to our channel as we follow up with more videos going forward. Now that we have our engine set to the proper RPM, it's time to get to work and get this unit going.